of care and wise with, with peaceful harvest mushrooms. And today we're here in central Vermont in our mushroom fruiting room. And we're going to talk about lion's mane mushroom. Also, the Latin name is Paricium arenaceus, which this particular species is. Also known as monkey head or pom pom or yabamushitake mushroom. You can find these out in the woods. They typically grow on um, hardwoods, dead or dying. They don't grow down nor the ground. They're usually up. So if you're out in the woods, you've got to pick your head up to find these guys. They're not super common, but you definitely can find them. Um, they've got a lot of great medicinal qualities. First and foremost, they're fantastic for cognitive function, memory, and nervous system. They have been shown in animal studies now to regenerate the myelin sheathing around your nerves. So think about like insulation on a wire. That's what the myelin sheathing does. So it protects the signals going down your nerve so that they get there and they get there faster. The other thing it's also shown to do is regenerate new neurons, both in your brain and in your body. Uh, studies have also shown with damaged nerves, it can help heal and regenerate those. So things like neuropathy, it would be super helpful for. Uh, it has been shown to help with mood and menopausal symptoms. It was a very small study with human females who were uh, in perimenopause and it did um, self-reported help with um, symptoms. It is a medicinal mushroom, so it has beta-glucans, so it's very helpful for supporting your immune system. And finally, um, it can also help with digestive function with things like ulcers. It is, um, it is active against things like H. pylori in the gut. So it is a gourmet medicinal mushroom. It is delicious if you can get your hands on it and eat it. It's very similar to um, a, a light seafood flavor, similar to uh, lobster or things like that. So it doesn't have the typical mushroomy flavor that a lot of us think about for mushrooms. It's a very unique one. Um, some of the compounds it has are arenacines and heracinones. And interestingly, this is one of the few mushrooms where one of those sets of compounds is in the mycelium, which you can see here. This is the mycelium, this is the white network here that's growing and actually eating the substrate, the grow, grow medium substrate. And then the other set of compounds is actually in the fruiting body, but not in the mycelium. So that's kind of unique for this mushroom. Uh, so if you have a chance to eat them, go for it. You will be delighted. And if you want to get some more information, definitely check out our website. We've got a lot more information, powders, and teachers, and things like that. Thanks.